Hello my beautiful people, it is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you have an amazing day. I want to start off with, I am so sorry I had no video on Sunday. Again, life just bit me and it just couldn't be helped. So anyways, onward, upward. Um, today I have a little bit of a shopping haul and we're going to try some new paints and we're going to do another Dutch pour. And I wanted to first of all thank... Um, Cherish Lees. Um, she has a um, YouTube channel. It's called The Messy Painter. I'd like to thank you for your PayPal donation. Thank you so much. Go check out her channel. I'll link it in the description box. And with that, I wanted to look at the lovely mug my daughter bought me. Her and her husband um, went on a trip to Vancouver and they came back yesterday and they gave me this amazing mug. Isn't that the cutest? So I had to do a one thank you anyways. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to get into my stuff. I did two shopping hauls. I did one from Dollar Tree. And the other one, of course, I had to hit Michael's the other day. So we'll start with the Dollar Tree first. I had these. They are seahorses. And they're a nice size. Let me just find my measuring tape. There it is. It's actually a, a nice size. Let me just, it is from tip to tip, 16 inches. From here to here is 16 inches. So I seen these and they're not overly thick, but my brain went and I thought I could put them like this. And give me a second, I brought it all down so I could I thought it would be cool to have him, and then this, and then this. I need a third person here. I figured this would be cute on the wall. Have it. And I would do the same idea on these. I would do a beach theme on these. So that's going to be an upcoming video. thought that was adorable. And when I was there, they had all these other... Let me get them all. The same idea. These are a little thicker. They had seashells. Let me see. It's called decorative. Oh, it's called decor shore living. They had seashells. They had more seahorses. Like these are thin enough that they'd be cute in a coasters or something. Dolphins. And of course, turtles. So I thought that was adorable. And then they had these stickers. Now I thought they would be cute on a tray. I have some wooden trays over there. And I thought they would be adorable on a tray. And you could put them like this together. Cut them so that they are better. You can even put maybe some glitter glass or something down the center. I thought that'd be cute for a resin tray. Stay there. And then they had these. Oh my goodness. They are rub-on transfers. I thought. So Sherry being Sherry, they had feathers. So I bought two. Thinking that would be adorable to put on like your coaster, anything resin would be adorable. Butterflies. If I went that way, you'd see them a lot better. Butterflies. And then this one is, I love this one. Dandelions, different ways. And then this one is sea inspired. Seashells, all that fun stuff. So those are adorable. I thought they were cute. Then, of course, me being the Canadian girl and all, Canada Day coming up, I saw these. They are transfers. So I thought they'd be cute, again, on some coasters or something. Um, I was looking for these when I was making my... Oh, they're still, they're still sitting right here. My keychains. I found them at the Dollar Rama, Dollar Tree. There was... How many is in here? Eight for a dollar fifty. Awesome. 
and two-way tape. I thought I'd pick some of that up. And these wooden, now I'm gonna get my other thing. These wooden little pegs. Somebody was saying that, I don't know, I like it the way it is, but somebody was saying it, you need something that looks like it's hanging on something, but that's part of the, the, uh, the difference of it. So I bought these little beads, the wooden beads. So I thought maybe one of them I could stick there and it looked like it's hanging. I don't know, I'm on the fence. I kind of like it the way it is. And I seen these, and I was thinking of these would be kind of cool, depending on what size of the dress you did. This was in the wedding section. Um, they had, oh, I gotta open it up here. These clear glass slippers. Isn't that the cutest? Like you could, you could do various things with those. You could mod podge, mod podge and glitter. You could do anything. And then they had these just wooden sticks. I picked them up. So that was my Dollar Tree haul. And then I went to Michael's. I'm always in trouble when I go to Michael's because I pick up too many things, right? So we'll start off. I have these two wooden signs. This was, I think it was 40% off. I thought it was cute. In my, my brain, my little brain, I was thinking I would spray paint it all white or br I was thinking brown, but I think white, especially down here, but I would do the whole thing just that way you've got a coat of paint on your wooden piece. And I thought I would put down here sand in between everything but i want to make sure those letters are a different color right and then start here and do a beach pour i thought it was cute for my trailer it was like i ended up only being like seven dollars so i thought that was cute and then they had this sign which the messy painter thank you did the beach pour on her channel in this so and these were only $6.99, so that's pretty cheap. And you can get these even at the dollar store. Paint them. You don't need to be, you know, fresh and new. And then, on the same side as our... This is cute. I don't know if it's going to work, though. I'm going to open one and see. Clothes hangers. I think they would be too... Too small for this dress. But, I don't know if you can see, depending on the size of your dress, I thought they would be adorable. You could do little dresses, a bunch of small canvases, and they could be the hangers. I like the, the, the metal one I made, so I thought that was cute. But I seen these, and they were, um, the summer stuff was, I think it was 70% off these things. So they were, I think, uh, maybe $4 a piece. I don't know. Everything there is so expensive. So, and they had these that was on sale again. So this one's pink. And I thought I want to do more of these uh, type dresses so you can color it. So I was looking for the same um, style. So I'm going to probably color that a darker purple or something. I had wanting to get some red alcohol ink. They had it at Michael's. I used my coupon because the stuff's expensive. So this one is crimson. Hope it's what I was looking for. And then they had these. They're $9. They ended up, they were 70% off. And it is a ring. So I will be making some more of my crushed opals in this. I'm going to put it on my finger. And it's adjustable because of the way it is made. And that, look at that. With the two bezels on it. I will be making some. And I thought it would be awesome to do, like you could even paint, paint in there black. And then do your layer of um, UV resin. That's cool. And last but not least, what, oh, this is going to be an upcoming video if I can do it right. If I think if 
because I've done polymer clay with the jewelry and all that fun stuff. Um, whoop -a I got a black, I got a white, and I have a teal color. This and gold leaf. That's all I'm saying. If I can figure it out, there'll be a video. So now the next one. I have ordered these paints, not these specific ones, from um, their Amsterdam, and they're almost like a ghost paint. They're all white, but they're colored. There's the blue, there's green, there's purple, there's pink and green, or turquoise, and whatever, from Amsterdam. I've ordered them twice off of Amazon, and both times... Um, the order was canceled and I got my money back. So I was so upset, but I went into, um, Michael's and they have these deco art. Now there's nothing wrong with these paints guys. Like they're $5 for a little bottle. I, these are the ones I used to use when I told painted. So these are nice paints. It just depends on what you're doing with them. Right? So this one is called enchanted. There's two versions. One is shimmer. Let me get the same color. One is shimmer and one is um, plain, but they're green. One is shimmer, one is plain. So Sherry had to buy kind of one of each because <laughs> it is what it is. So this is what we're gonna do today's Dutch pour. I'm gonna mix just a little bit of the paints. So I'm, I really wanna do a couple of techni techniques, techniques. So I've got green, I got magenta in both. I have violet in the shimmer. They didn't have a violet in the just regular. It was sold out. I have blue in both. Oh, no. <gasps> Always. I have two of the same. So it is what it is, right? I have blue, one shimmer, one not. And I have... green one shimmer and one knot and then i only had that's out of there blue one shimmer one knot and then i have turquoise it is the regular it's not the shimmered one they had a gold and then they had a shimming iridescent this one's white. And then they had this. Now, I want to do a painting with this. I thought it would be awesome to do like a black background and do another peacock feather, but paint. And you won't know what's what. So I thought it would be kind of cool. And they had this. It's called Ultra Black. Is it Ultra Black? Yeah, Ultra Black Base Paint. So it'll work with these so i thought it would be awesome so there we go my little shopping haul and i'm gonna get my paints mixed up basic flow trawl water and paint i will link my video in the description box on how to mix your paints because i'm not going to go through all that with you so i'm going to put all this stuff away i'm going to grab my canvas i'm going to prime it prep it and we're going to get right into this i'll be right back in a second guys and that thing, it works and sometimes it don't. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute, guys. Hello, I am back. I have mixed all of my paints. And what I did, because they all look the same, I'm going to show you guys it. They all look white. You might see a little hue of a color in certain ones. Like this one, you can tell it's gold. But what I did is without tipping this up, I've labeled every cup. It's kind of hard to see with my zigzag pattern. Yeah, you can kind of see the gold in there. This one is turquoise. I don't know, yeah, I guess you can kind of see a little hue in there. And then this one, I'm gonna move them all aside. And this one is the blue shimmer it's going to be interesting to see because 
you won't know what you're well you know what you're putting down but you won't know the color until it kind of dries and this one is the green shimmer and this one is the we just about dumped it this one's magenta kind of see a little kind of a purpley hue and then this one is the violet shimmer so with that I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas I have it taped I have it push pinned and we are gonna get ready to go so um, I'm using artist loft acrylic flow black as my base now if you watch Molly from Molly's artistry she did a test because a lot of people when they do the black whether it be a swipe or a dutch pour they get their colors get eaten up so she did an experiment with what brands of paint made a difference and i always use this one and which because for me here in canada it's the cheap version so it does keep your colors so i will link molly's um test video with the blacks and take a good look at that one because that might help you out if you are having issues with your black colors eating up all of your amazing colored paints so with that i mixed up a little more because i had a little bit in here had a little bit in here so i thought i'd mix up a fresh little bit and we're gonna get right into this i'm excited to see i thought that Oh yeah, that should be enough. I thought that I would love to do, I don't know if I mentioned it, a peacock feather with a black base and then use these paints just to paint it. So that's why I bought the black paint. The, what is it? D Ultra black. I didn't want to mix it for this because to me that's a lot of paint to mix for that little wee bottle. So I'm going to take my amazing flower blow dryer thank you sandra and we're just going to blow this out to um, fix my sleeves because this is the outfit I had on the other day when I put it in the resin and it's not really sleeves it's kind of like a, it's weird but anyway we're fixed up now there we go so I'm going to make sure my edges are all covered it's kind of hard to see on that side you guys can tell me but I can't hear you there we go. So today I have an amazing son-in-law. He's coming to get me. He's coming a half an hour, driving 35 minutes to come pick me up, to take me to work, and then bring me home again because this dizzy broad is getting her vertigo hopefully taken care of. I'll give this a torch to burst the bubbles. So chiropractor can adjust your vertigo. I'm going to put a little more kind of in the middle so I got enough to blow off here. Yeah, so they um, they'll help you adjust your crystals. So with that, I can't drive for 48 hours. I can't do anything. 
um, so I can't work. I have to sleep in a reclining chair. My head has to stay straight. I can't look up, can't look down. So I don't know. I'm hoping I'll have a videos. <laughs> Trying to get so much done today. So with that, my black. And then let's get, which way are we going to put these? Let's do uh, green. We're going to start off with the green. Do I do a puddle? Or do I do a line? Let's do a line and we'll do a fine because there's a lot of paint going to come on here. So that's the green. Let's do the gold. Even though this one is magenta. Oh, okay. So that's green shimmer magenta not shimmer i was trying to do every other one and that's a shimmer let's get this one this one is a shimmer holy moly okay so let's do gold oh oh you can see it oh my goodness guys Can you see the purple, gold? Then we will do the blue. Out of the way. Then the blue is shimmer. Then we'll do the turquoise. It's a lot of paint for that little canvas, I know. And then we're going to end up with the violet shimmer. So my Amsterdam of these versions of a paint are coming. So I'm excited. So we'll do this again when I get those Amsterdam paints. So here we're going to give a torch. We torch because why do we torch? We torch so we break. Oh, you can see the green. All the bubbles. Because if you leave the bubbles and your paint dries, you'll have little pinholes in your painting. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. I'm just going to blow off and then kind of work my way. On low. How low and slow can we go? Here we go, guys. goodness I don't know I'm tempted to put a little more here oh my goodness do I leave it or do I just leave it I personally I like it when it comes off the canvas that's just me What do you do when you live in a shoe? Hmm. It's cool how this, the edge, all of the edge is cells. That's kind of cool. It would be nice if they all went like that. Hmm. You try and spread that color out. I don't know. I might wreck that. You can see the shimmer. Okay, I'm going to leave it because I'm now seeing colors. Once this dries, I'm pretty sure I'm going to come in maybe with a quick little torch. Here we go. I'm going to leave it, guys, because I just want to experiment and see how this turns out. Mm. 
very cool. I hope you see a little bit more. And I'm going to put these in my... I've got a bunch of little squeeze bottles so I don't waste them because... And that's what the thing is with these little ones. You don't need a whole lot, right? If you want to do just a quick, like how many Dutch pours can I do with these? Like that's crazy. So with that, I'm going to bring you down, show you a close up. And then when I come home from work, hopefully I can come down here and show you the process of it drying. Because it'd be interesting to see what the color looks like here as opposed to here where it's actually white all right i'm gonna put you on pause so i don't make you seasick because i know how it is to be a dizzy broad guys all right hold on for a sec i'll be right back and maybe sometimes this works and sometimes it don't okay i'll be back guys i'm back amazing like you can really see that purple magenta maybe which whatever color that was love how the cells are here sorry this is cool you can see shimmer in there i can see it off the angle I'm not sure about this wiggly wiggly wonky thing but that's all right it's experimenting today we're trying out this new paint this to me looks like a snake or like an intestine <laughs> <laughs> the way it wiggles. Oh. I can see that gold. I think that's what is making it look kind of um, the brownie tinge. So I'm not sure if I like that or not. But all those cells are crazy. So I'm hoping these vibrant things dry. So maybe the next time I do it, I won't try and blow all that white out because that was your color right so you're basically blowing it right off the canvas so with that i'm gonna let it dry hopefully it'll be a little bit drier when i get home and i can come down and do a quick little video show you and i'm gonna pack that up in some containers and i'll see you guys in a bit hi guys well guys i brought it outside the composition kind of went awry on this but you know what? I love, even though it, it's not what I intended, but look at that. It all started off as white. Sorry, I'm outside, as you can tell. I thought it turned out amazing. Let's go inside. So I will probably put a coat of paint on this. Uh, a paint. <laughs> Did I tell you I had my brain adjusted yesterday? I had my vertigo thing done. There we go. That's it inside. It just looks so pretty outside. So yes, I had my vertigo done yesterday. So I'm not supposed to move my head. I can't drive. So I'm not supposed to do any of that for 48 hours. So I'm hoping I can maybe sneak down and do maybe a little video. We'll see. So with that, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I will do another one of these, but I'm not going to do it with it um, diluted with my Floetrol mix and stuff. I'm going to do it with just the paints. I would love to do a peacock feather on a black base. That's why I bought the black paint. So hopefully that's coming soon. So with that, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you um, have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing and hit that thumbs up and hit that bell up there for notifications from when I put up my next video and everything I use today will be linked in the description box and <clears throat> sorry also want to um thank Cherish Lisa is, is it I'm probably saying your name wrong sweetheart sorry um thank you for your PayPal donation I will link in the description box her video where she did my beach pour with the glass and glitter um so go check out her site also i have in the description box i have the links to fundy molds with a discount code i have the links to where to purchase tri art liquid glass i have the links to let's resin with a discount code of sherry m10 capital s capital m i also have the links to <clears throat> sorry um crystal resin with my new discount code, it is Sherry Molten 5, capital S. 
and I have my two amazing Lares distributors. I have Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Go check out her site. Um, my discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M, and the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner. Go check out her website. My discount code for Laura is all capital letters Sherry Molten 10. And with that, I have my Amazon links and my PayPal if you choose to donate. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.